Hello everybody, Spellzy back again with another quick video. So today I'm just going to go over a couple things that I really struggled with when I was first playing the game, and I think it was because I was just using the vanilla Minecraft client, and uh, there's just a couple things that uh, it, it, they're a little more challenging to use when you're not on the official add-on client. So uh, today we're going to be talking about how to just move things around your bank, um, how to change your combat styles, and how to move things in and around your inventory. All this stuff sounds really basic at first, but I promise you I was really confused when I first started, and I know there's people that are also confused with this. I see it pop up in the chat all the time. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Now, the first thing is let's set our combat styles. Now, you guys can see on the right, I have been building a pure style account where I only have 40 attack and 43 strength. It's very easy for me to mess this up. So what you do to determine what you want to train is you hit your inventory key, which for me is E, and it is this combat options button right here. Now when you click on this, all you have to do is just click to move it around. Now if you're using the um, the official add-on client, then this will be highlighted in purple. If you're just using the vanilla client, you'll never actually know what your combat style is because it doesn't light up like this. So that being said, very simple. Just You just go ahead and you just click on whatever thing you want. This will train strength, that'll train attack, that'll train shared, and that'll train defense. Obviously I'm going to keep mine on strength for now, um, but in order to make sure that that is set up correctly, make sure that you are highlighted under whatever you are um, using, right? Like let's say that I have a staff of water in my inventory, okay? Let's say I equip that staff of water and I go back. Let's say that I have like my fist out though, like my, my staff is equipped but I'm not selecting, or I'm not selecting it. If I go and I go back to combat options, it's going to think that I'm trying to box somebody, right? And that switched it back to attack. Now, like I said, I'm a pure. That would really mess up my build right now, considering there's no, no real reason to have anything higher than 40 attack. So what you want to do is you want to make sure whatever you're using, you right-click it, and um, it's in your inventory, like in your actual combat slot, which is the far left one. And then when you're holding it, then you go to combat options, and then you choose what you want. And then definitely double check and make sure, like, staff should have a crush option that gives you strength experience. I don't know why it's only giving attack experience. That's a little strange. Oh, what's up, dude? But yeah, like, for if I wanted to use the scimitar, I would have to go ahead and equip it. This is not enough, right? So I'm going to go ahead and right-click on it, and it's going to throw it into my combat options. I'm going to go ahead and move that out. And then, like I said, if I hit E and I don't have it selected, right, it's just going to think that I'm kicking. So let's go ahead and hit... Let's go scroll over to this, right? And we'll go ahead and hit E, combat options, double check, make sure it's on strength. Cool, everything's good. And that is how you do your combat options. Now, if you guys don't have the client that I'm using, it's really easy to get. You just go to Twitch, like the Twitch app on um, your computer. You go to mod packs and you go ahead and get Mindscape Me Edition. It's very easy to find. All you have to do is search in Losty Toasty's version. Like you just hit browse, type in Losty Toasty. And then this will pop up right here. This is all you need. Just make sure you have the correct version and everything, and you're good to go. If you are confused or if you don't have anything going on and you don't really use this app, that's okay. Go ahead and check out my old video. I'll throw up a card in the top right corner. Go ahead and click on that, and that'll put you right on your way. So again, I'm going to assume that you guys have that mod pack for everything else. So let's go ahead and talk about just moving basic stuff around your inventory. Like I said, very simple, but can be confusing when you first start out. Now, if, we're, if you want to click on something and move something... You go ahead and you click, and then you click again, and it will move it. Now, if you try to drag it, like you do in RuneScape, it's not going to work very well. You have to just click and click. If you try to drag it, if I wanted things to move, like, now this is like, okay, that's really weird. And if you're using the normal vanilla client, it's not going to turn pink like that, so it's going to be even more confusing, which is I think is the hardest part. So this client turns it pink when you click it, which makes it a lot easier, okay? And of course, if you wanted to automatically equip something, let's like, like let's say I wanted to go ahead and automatically equip my staff and my cape, right? Like all I have to do is just hold down shift and click it, and then I'll automatically equip it and shift and click it if it's in my inventory as well. So that also works from this too. So if I go ahead and shift click, it's going to automatically equip it. And if I have something in my inventory, I can also just go ahead and right click it like it's on my hotbar, and it'll automatically equip it as well. So, and it'll swap things out. So, technically, you can switch weapons. Um, there's not anybody doing that right now just because it's so hard to get weapons. Um, but it's good to know for the future. I'm sure that that will be helpful at some other point. And lastly, moving things around your bank. There's a couple good things to note. One, you can go ahead and put placeholders and lock items. You can also withdraw things as a note. Um, if you have multiple items of something, like let's say I have a 
Let's say I have, here, I don't want to jump too far ahead. Let's say I have a couple buckets on my inventory, right? Or better yet, let's not do buckets as an example. Let's get a noted item. Let's say that I have, yeah, let's say I have 18 mind runes, right? Like, if I go ahead and just click it, or right click it, like nothing really happens. So what you want to do is you shift click it, and it'll all come back out. Now, shift clicking doesn't drag everything out, though. It only takes out one when you're taking it from your bank. So if you want to take out a whole bunch, what you do is you right click, and this little pop-up box will happen. You just go ahead and you type in a number, hit continue. And then now all of a sudden I should have like 200 mind runes, yeah. If I wanted to get that back in there, I hold down shift and click. It puts it right back in the bank. Now if I wanted to go ahead and note something, I go ahead and click note. Make sure that it says enabled. And then I go ahead and go like my buckets, right? I can go ahead and either just click, shift click, I'm sorry. Or I can go ahead and right click and hit continue. And look, now I have four. I go ahead and shift click them back in, go ahead and undo my notes, and we're good to go. And um, everything when you're moving your items around your bank is all based off of um, the insert system. Like on RuneScape, you have insert and you have swap when you're moving items around. Everything for this is all insert. So I just got this water towels one, right? So let's go ahead and let's shift click and put it in my bank. And it went to the very, very, very bottom. And it is right there. So I want to move this all the way up to my other talisman. So I'm just going to go ahead and click it, left click, and then left click again. And you'll see that it moved everything over. Going up again, I'm going to left click, and then click again. And it moves everything over to the right. And just like that, now I have a nice and clean and organized bank. And it's very, very easy to maintain and all of that. So that's pretty much it for the basic stuff right there. Um, I was contemplating whether or not this video was even necessary. But hey, you know what? Since I'm putting this on the forums, I figure someone might find it helpful and whatever. Already doing a couple videos a day anyway. So hope this was helpful. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and hit subscribe and like. And I will continue making Minecraft videos as I see fit. This is my secondary channel, so it's really just more for fun and for a passion project. But I'm super happy that you guys are finding use in this. And I like making videos. Sometimes they're just out of my out of my area of expertise. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you are playing the server, feel free to type in slash refer and Edgeville. And you can go ahead and give us both platinum tokens that we can use on treasure chests and things like that. So everybody have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.